Oh, well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I uh, Hopefully you watch this video a little bit later. You're coming home from your parents, or maybe everybody's leaving your place. Well, if everybody's leaving your place, it wouldn't be the situation I had. For years, it was just me living alone, and usually we'd go over to my mom's, or maybe my sister would, like, host it one year, and uh, there's just, like, all these people, and you're talking, you're eating, and then I would go home, and there'd just be, like, nobody there. Occasionally, sometimes around the holidays, I would be uh, cat-sitting for a friend. So I would get to go home and have a cat there. But while like it may sound like it's depressing, it was not. It was actually one of my favorite days of the year because I would always be getting home around the time normally I would be going to work, but I didn't have to go to work. And then there was just like, it was so quiet and nobody was around. I could watch the football game if I wanted, but almost, uh, I don't believe, you know, it never involves the Browns. So I never really cared about the Thanksgiving football games. Um, I just get to watch. Usually, I'd watch a cool movie or maybe a show. I think uh, might have been around Thanksgiving when I first. No, that doesn't make sense. I was gonna say when I first got into uh, Mandalorian, like I just came home and watched six episodes in a row or something. But I don't think that's true. That's not right. I don't know what show it was, but <laughs> anyway. So anyhow, now this video won't be like six hours long, unfortunately. I and, and I'm kind of lucking out today. I guess it's lucking out. I don't know. I mean, we had the whole 2020 year, but now, like, as you can hear, I got a little bit of something going on. I guess it's just going around. Everybody's a little sick, including my mom and niece. They're, like, really sick, so my sister was still cooking some things, I guess. My mom's cooking some things, so I'm going to go over and pick us up a couple of plates. Uh, so I'm kind of dodged. I won't get that moment, and, you know, I got the cat and Mary here now, so... Those days, uh, I'll have to have come up with a new favorite day of the year. I don't know what my new favorite day of the year is going to be. Hmm. Not my birthday. That just gets depressing once you hit a certain age. You're like, oh, man, the end is coming quicker than it used to. You know, when you're like seven, you're not like, oh, man, I'm going to die. <laughs> and then you start hitting like 39, you're like, fuck, I'm going to die. Am I halfway there? <laughs> so uh and then tab and goose i don't think i ever did do like once it all wrapped up and uh yeah obviously i'm a billy strings fan but i really felt like that was clearly the hottest night and that was my favorite stuff for the tab stuff when billy joined them i mean they played one of my favorite billy string songs okay sure they played possum they did that acoustic nonsense actually water in the sky and love and regret that was pretty cool too but that's not what we were there for we were there for Meet Me at the Creek, and I feel like that was Goose's best set. Um, maybe I'm wrong. I guess other people would probably maybe disagree, and they obviously would know more. I uh, And I didn't hear a ton of the Trey stuff, so I guess even saying that that was the best mode. But yeah, I did hear that entire night, and although it wasn't on the Goose tour, I heard the, um, <clears throat> the Tab show in Chicago, and that was some of the best Tab that I had heard in this le recent run here in the fall tour. And then overall, I think as my thoughts were at the beginning, um, this is kind of going to be a goose tour. And I do feel, I still ultimately, eh, cats over here messing with something. Hold on a second. Dude, cats are the best and the absolute worst. Right now she's on the end table. It's just kind of distracting because it seems like she's determined to just like knock the mail and shit off. And then sometimes we got like a little uh, tablecloth type thing on the end table. She'll get her claws stuck in it. And she's eventually going to take down the whole lamp and the plant and everything. What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> there she went. She just she didn't take it all with her, but yeah, uh-huh. Hold on. I'm gonna rough her up. And we got one of these things. This was sitting on the end table, and she does like it. She plays with it. She likes to fuck it up, but now she was like, nah, I'd rather get with the mail. I'd rather see what's going on. I called her yesterday doxing people. I went in the computer room. She's up on the keyboard, just left and right, man. Phone numbers, pictures of children, whatever. Just, I was like, oh, no, dude, our cat, we got a problematic cat. She's doxing people on the internet now. This is never going to work out. That's probably what she's doing over there looking through my mail. She's probably trying to get, like, credit card numbers or something. Well, you want my Social Security number now? I'm telling you. And then, uh, see, what else have we been up to? Oh, man, I guess like a lot of people, or I don't know, maybe not you guys, but I just got full on into the Idaho situation, the four kids. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then, what? Where, you know, that story's just crazy as it is. And, you know, you know, I don't know. It's I'm, I'm a little bit torn on, like, why am I so into this? 
And then, um, <clears throat> nothing saucier, though, than when, like, pretty girls get killed. And Ethan, you know, so I forget about Ethan, but. And, um, the Delphi case, of course, I'm still into that. Just getting, I, I, try, I try to not, like, I'm like, I don't want another, I don't want to follow another, like, true crime case, you know? It's, uh, especially then when you start trying to get on the internet, like, any, everybody, you know, everybody's a sleuth now on the internet. And normally I've noticed if they have sleuth in their name, normally the more annoying they are. They just, like, point out a bunch of, like, fifth grade stuff that, yeah, like, of course the cops have done that, dude. And I just, I don't understand, like, I know police aren't per, I don't know, I don't want to get into all this, but it's just like, no, it just sickens me when these idiots on the internet, like, think they're smarter than the police and the FBI. And, you know, I don't think the police and FBI are flawless, but did they check cell phone data? <laughs> no, probably not, dude. Did they dust for fingerprints? Was there footprints in the blood? <laughs> no, they probably didn't look for any of that, dude. Congratulations, you saw an episode of Dateline. Now you're fucking Sherlock Holmes. Great. I don't know, man. I just, then I, I was watching one lady and I was really interested in what this lady was like because she was giving uh, basically factual information. She was like, yeah, these press conferences, sometimes it's hard to hear the questions, sometimes it's hard to hear the answers. So she's like the lady. She does, she gives the questions and the answers. And one of them, I'm pretty sure she got wrong. I'm like, no, I listened to the press conference. I'm pretty sure I heard that question. And then it made me think of myself when I'm just doing something as simple as a fish, fish set. Fish set. See, I can't even say fish set list. Um, I get something wrong, like I miss the opener, or I get just leave a song off, or I claim this was a Radiohead cover, or just something ridiculous. And uh, luckily, it's just me talking about a band and what songs they played. I mean, pretty low on the pretty low on the scale of how meaningful is this? Four kids murdered, four guys playing music. And I think I know which one's more important. So, but. Yeah, I guess I could see why people would get really frustrated with me, even if it's something that simple. Because um, I can sometimes feel the frustration, and I'm like, ah, who cares, dude? Whatever. It's a fucking song. It's a band. What Most people don't even know this band. Don't even care about this band. Most people that do know this band don't like them, so quit acting like this is life and death here. I got a song wrong. Woo! But man, I kind of felt it yesterday. I was like, nah, I don't think she's right about that. I think this person's wrong. I don't know. And then part of it's like, uh, you know, then there's that, yeah, the ego jumps in there too. And I know that's what's going on with a lot of fish fans. I mean, the ego is like, whoa. So when I get something wrong, their first instinct is I should do this because I could do it better. And I got to admit, that was kind of my instinct, but I could not do it. I could not do it better. All these sleuths, while I'm goofing on them, calling them Sherlock Holmes, they, they're definitely much better than anything I would do. The difference is I'm wise enough to realize I'm an idiot. They don't know they're idiots yet. <sighs> so I guess I'll just leave you with that. At least I know I'm an idiot. What about you? You're not an idiot. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude. Pff. Barry in the lead here. Friendsgiving Friday. I'm all in. Vegan made. Friend of the channel. Super twiddle fan. Was like, uh, he offered to buy me the webcast. I was like, well, sure, man. I'm going to be just hanging around chilling Friday night. Uh, let's do it. So he says he's going to be there on the rail getting down. I'm going to be here on couch tour getting down. And unless I just absolutely have nothing nice to say, we get in our first twiddle recap on here. They're at the cap. Everybody loves the cap. I think they're at the cap. Yeah, they're at the cap. It's still going to kind of smell like Billy in there, though. The tray stench, long gone. All right, guys. Boom. Happy Thanksgiving. Love you.